Nico, I'm still here, so I must be somewhere. I must be writing something. You know, it comes to this, it comes to this, man. It comes to this. You don't want to face being what you are. So you believe in God? Sure. Any, any particular God or just the uh, God? Yeah, I believe in, uh, I believe in uh, all I can believe in. Hey, listen, listen to this. I don't want to get stuck. I don't want to get stuck uh, on this camera, English, with something that's going to tag me off to be something like uh, a racist, whatever racist is. I think I would suggest that all you people involved in this interview sit down and consider what the hell that word means. You don't have any idea what it means. You come down here to the penitentiary and you live with a bunch of people. You smell them. You rub off on each other. You know them. You know what they'll do to you if they get the chance. They haven't got anything to do on how you feel towards them. The first premise of your survival is how they feel about you. Now, as long as you got money in your own pocket, they're going to come up and tell you, Hey, Murphy, how you doing? Hey, brother, man, we sure love you. You're so wonderful. Uh, let me get a few dollars. And the minute I can't get no dollars from you, uh, you piece of data, rattle, booger, run, yeah, yeah, you racist, no good, rah, 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 rah. In other words, I reach in your mind and control your fear because you're a coward. And as long as I can reach in your mind and control your fear because you're a coward, I'm going to play any game I can play on you all the way to the White House. And then when I take over, I'm going to laugh and say, you were a bunch of weak people. I don't see how you made it this far. Because when you're dealing with the African mind, English, Africans are smart, aren't they? See, over here, everybody thinks them old black people are just dumb old colored folks. But they're not dumb old colored folks. They're very smart, they're very aware, and their capacity for fear is three times what yours is. You go to any colored man on the pier and ask him what's the license number on a garbage truck. He knows everything. He knows everything that's going on. Why can't he be responsible for Helter Skelter? Why don't we call him over and ask him if he's standing on the moon with Charlie, or if he's sorry about a lot of people being killed, because in the world we live in, people are killed all day long. I was raised up in the black world, standing on the moon for a nickel on a phone call in the hills of Kentucky. I wasn't raised up on a, on a white supremacist level to where uh, my father drives a, a nice automobile. I was raised up in the gutter, man, where, uh, where uh, survival comes. When you find out that you ain't got no friends, tramp. You got the chain on the road, you got the tramp in the ga and, the, and the garbage, and you got the bum with his hand out, you know. In other words, like, uh, it's not like you think it is. So you start universal order, I guess, I guess that makes you a revolutionary, you could say. Well, sure, all the way, I'm totally revolutionary, certainly, certainly. I've been, I've been a revolutionary all my life, sure. I so what would you change? change. Huh? What would you change? Uh, that's, what, that's what I want to get my little segment in, whenever you give me a chance. Okay, we'll come to that. I've changed everything. Okay. One world, one government, one mind. We'll come to that. One so, God. Okay. Whatever. Why do you think everyone, huh? why do you think everyone blames all these other murders on you and all these it other craziness? Matter. It doesn't matter. Some people say that you were involved in Son of Sam and all sorts well, of certainly, stuff. Certainly, certainly, certainly. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Why? All right. All right. Mm. Uh, like, like the king. The king stands up. And he wears a green feather in his hat. Okay. So everybody gets a green feather. What makes a, a, a diamond worth something? Mm -hmm. The diamond is only worth something because the king wore it. What makes jewels worth anything? Only because the king picked it up. But some people say you're, you're sitting here in the corner of sort of empire of crime and you're dictating all these crimes yeah, all over yeah, the world. I, I, I take advantage of anything I can. Mm -hmm. I totally take advantage of any situation that I'm thrown into for myself, completely, and honestly, and legally. I'm trying to change the system within. One guy even called another guy Manson Number Two. Yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of uh, uh, progression. You know about that? 
Oh, sure. We're all following somebody else. I'm following the guy in front of me, you know. I, you come up with a good idea, I'll follow it, you know. Like, if it's yeah. something good and it works for me, I'm going to use it, you know. And Manson number two was supposed to be a guy called Bill Manson. Did you ever know him? Uh, I've known a whole lot of those kind of different people. There's a whole bunch of them. You remember having them? Uh, yeah, vaguely. Yeah, I mean, it was something like that. And, uh, but you got to realize, man, there's an awful lot of people involved in this thing now, you know. And then we have to deal with Spanish, too. There's a whole Spanish uh, uh, arm of this uh, revolution. We're trying to save our water and our air. And from here to General Noriega. You sure. remember General Noriega? Sure. But when you say that you want to change the world for the better, you want to clean up the environment, but most people out there don't think of you as an environmentalist. It doesn't matter what people think. They're jellyfish and they're paid. But you can't change their minds if that's all they think of you. Huh? But you can't change their minds if that's all but they think what of you. It, what does it matter? Because if you can't change people's minds, you can't change the world. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, back to you. <laughs> Depends on what time zone you're in. You're still riding in a car. I'm over here on the stagecoach. <laughs> Come out the back door, huh? Mm. I didn't need to call you, I don't want to I wasn't thinking about going back to South Carolina. I'm going back to South Carolina. I'm going to You know, like you're supposed to blow the wind over there. You might not even ask him. You know, like I know all the trees blew over, you know, and you did me pretty wrong over there with that groves pressing. You let them other guys come up and print them books about me, you dig? It's like, uh, it's not always you on a friendly basis. I don't know, I don't really need to go back there because Scotty built a castle out there in the middle of the desert. You knew that, didn't you? You know, so I got my castle over here, so I live another asshole somewhere else. You know, I don't need to shit on the same direction all the time. I can do uh, just about anything I need to do, but what I'm trying to do. But why do you think that instead of being known for your environmental it's ideas. Just, How come uh, everybody just whoa, thinks of you as being this whoa, whoa, big whoa, whoa. criminal? Oh, oh, oh. I wasn't looking to be known. Well, nobody writes fan mail to John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, yeah. But they write it to you. Yeah, I know. But mm. look, look, please try to understand this. Did Brian told you I had him? Didn't he? I had his studio. I had his legs open. I had his surfboard. I had it. I looked at it and I said, this is not survival. There's no life here. This is all dead. This is all dead. I'm telling you. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. I come a long way. I come a long, long way. From Kilgore, from McLaughlin. I come from the hills of Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, North Carolina. And the hills are dying. The mountains the water is dying. Yeah. Guys, oh yeah, well, it's always been that way. You say, we're cutting three billion trees every day. Yeah, we know, we know. But can you change that from yeah. here? Do you think public opinion is going to change it? Or do you think if you just crucify it, maybe a couple hundred thousand, that would change it faster? Is that what you think? Uh, I think I wish Britain had not backed up. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I think that the only way you're going to do it is you've got to do it through strength. You've got to have a strong hand to do it. You can't do it wishy-washy. You can't wish it done. You can't want it done. You've got to stand up on it and do it. So what are you saying? There's too many people? Uh, yeah, way too many people. So There's too many people in there, and, and, uh, and, and you're, you're, you're so far out of line with your own state. You don't even know what you smell like. You're putting so much stuff in the water, man, you don't even realize how many tons and tons and tons of waste and paper and garbage and junk you know, is the, is the North Sea dying? Is the North Sea in trouble? Sure. Yeah. So we've got too many people. Well, how are you going to change the North Sea by public opinion, by asking people, would you please help us change it? They're not going to send you a dollar. But what are you? What are you? Yeah. Huh? So we've got too many people. What are you going well, to do? How are, you going to, how, are you going to, how are you going to get the numbers down? Okay, if I got biology, I'll just spray the people and let the bugs live. I'll get the bugs out of my garden. i get the people out of my bugs. I change it. I turn it around. I take my spaceship and land it in another direction. So you kill all the people? Uh, well, I, you know, I don't know whether I'll kill them. I give them a chance. Uh, I think they had a pretty good uh, I was talking about that with some other people. And uh, uh, those people, they didn't know there was anybody there. It was a fucking spaceship or something. It was, uh, uh, I, I couldn't find anyone to care. You know, I was standing there on fire and uh, uh, no one would piss on me. So uh, I said, you know, uh, well, what am I at? I'm holding these people up. I'm standing up. I'm, I'm carrying these people on my back. And, like, I got to be guilty for all the things. And how many, how many years have I been to blame for who? And I say, uh, uh, Dominus Obiscum, uh, were we in Mass uh, on Sunday? Or are we uh, in the Protestant? Or what are we at over here? Are we in Protestant or Catholic now? Both. 
fight, fighting each other back and forth with the devil. 